Welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys here. So today we're going to be doing a reading for the Divine Feminine. Okay, there's a channel message that I was getting for the Divine Feminine of the Collective. Uh, the channel message for you guys is you are being prepared to birth gods. You are being prepared to birth divine beings on this planet. Um, and this is the reason why there's a lot of research being done on artificial wombs and how artificial wombs can create uh, transhumanistic robotic children you know so that we don't have these gods on this realm uh, that can transform this realm you know into a utopia something that is supposed to be you know uh, there has been a strong hold of you know a lot of systems that operate secretly to cast an illusion upon the collective to keep the collective asleep to keep the collective tranquilized right but the divine feminine the collective of the divine feminine is being prepared to birth gods um, I also got another download regarding the power of mitochondria. So the power of mitochondria is that it is in each cell within your body, right? It is within every human being, within each cell of a human being's body, right? And the power of mitochondria is that it is it produces electricity within your body and that is how it can produce energy for you to walk around work do your physical activity go to gym dance you know any kind of activity that you do is due to the mitochondria within your body right so for my divine feminines this specifically connects with you because mitochondria is also responsible for choosing sperms according to the godhood of that sperm and whether that sperm can become the next god. A woman chooses the sperm. The sperm is not racing in competition and wins the competition towards the egg. The egg has magnetism that attracts that powerhouse of mitochondria within it right and that is the power of women so like I was saying the power of mitochondria right uh, mitochondria is a part within each of your cells which in within your human body and what it does is it's the powerhouse within those cells within every cell and it creates that energy that can help you have momentum in your life in any shape or form it creates that energy for you to take action towards your goals towards your dreams you know um, every affirmation that you listen to everything that you talk to about yourself within your body within your mind the mitochondria is listening to you because it has its own subtle intelligence um, and the mitochondria do not need human beings to survive it just needs to shift from one body to another you know because it always gets recycled through the energy of earth so it can transform into different types of energies and somehow it's connected to the subconscious mind subconscious mind is a part of the mind which controls your heartbeats which controls uh, things that are actually not in a human being's control right so divine feminine the reason I'm getting these downloads for you is because like I said you are getting ready to birth gods into this realm right but there's a war against that because if you do that then the current leaders the current leaders that are designing the illusion for humanity are going to suffer a loss they are going to be taken out of the rulership, the throne that they so much 
desire, the throne that they so much love uh, to control, you know, and have possession of so that they can rule the world, they can control the narrative according to what they want, right? But Divine Feminine has the power to flip the script because Divine Feminine actually chooses which being, which interdimensional being, which galactic being, which multidimensional being, which intergalactic being, which constellational being can take birth on planet Earth and change the future and flip the script and flip the narrative on what the future holds for mankind, right? So these are the two main downloads that I had for you guys. But let's get some tarot cards also. Uh, you will be seeing the cards on screen and right now as I'm uh, recording this, it's 12-12. So that talks about mirroring energy, you know, mirroring of the souls, the dance of understanding your person, understanding who is that one person who is going to be the catalyst for you to bring this being on planet Earth, to bring this intergalactic godlike being on planet Earth. And for that, you have to um, choose, you have to know which sperm has that quality, right? So it's like the divine is also looking for you, you know, to 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 see how how this mutual understanding and how this love can create something that is so massive that it completely destroys the illusions of the past and creates a whole new world for us to see and for us to witness, right? So let's see. Divine is also looking for you as much as you're looking for the divine, divine feminines, okay? So let's see what's the first card for you guys. We have five of wands. Yeah, look at that. That's the card of war. That's the card of competition, you know? There's a lot of beings that, that are competing for your womb the magical womb that is meant to produce gods on planet earth there's so many beings who want to infiltrate that there are so many beings who want to traumatize your womb so you don't get to fulfill this mission of yours right there's so much against you there's so much spiritual warfare there's so many different beings who have not been able to elevate themselves have not been able to evolve into the higher version of themselves and they want your womb. It's like they feel it's their birthright to have your womb. But your womb belongs to the God. Your womb belongs to the cosmos. You know? Your womb is in service to the cosmos, literally. Right? It's sacred. It's a temple. It's holy. It's divine. But these beings are constantly fighting, competing creating conflict, creating fights and battling amongst each other in the spiritual realm as well as in the physical realm. You could see this manifest in the physical realm by knowing that, you know, no matter what you do, you can't make people around you happy. People are always going to nag at what you're doing, at what you're creating. But this gives you the fuel to be the best version of yourself. This gives you the fuel to be stronger than yesterday, to not be as sensitive, to get affected by everything that's happening around you, including the chaos that is being inflicted upon you because of the golden womb, the magical womb that you possess, right? Because that is what the whole war is about. That is why there are these people who are getting into technology and transhumanism so that your womb can be hijacked, that you are no longer in use because babies can be created without you. You don't matter is what the patriarchy is trying to prove here by doing this. But what they're doing is they're destroying themselves in the process of having such a humongous ego against their own inner divine feminine. They're destroying themselves. Right? We're actually supposed to have the feminine surname, the divine feminine surname, as our last name. 
always it was always supposed to be like that right but again i don't say that it should be at one extreme but there has to be a balance there cannot be a complete extreme uh perception of only patriarchy being the rulership and the dominant way of handling things right so yeah the patriarchy has caused a lot of trauma to the sacred womb of the divine feminine and right now is the opportunity for you to rise above the chaos divine feminine because you have a big mission here and the divine beings are looking for you to impregnate you and you have to know intuitively who is the right person for you with the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck because you are very loving you have a very very kind heart you're extremely intuitive you are psychic you know you can um read energies understand energies you're very emotionally intelligent which makes you a threat to the current patriarchy to the current society and uh the illusions that it is built upon you know you shatter those illusions just by your existence uh divine feminines you do that you know so this could be manifesting in your family dynamics where you know your family no matter what you do they have something or the other to say against you or to always plot and plan against you to make you traumatized in some way or the other right because this is happening globally this is happening through the secret societies through the people in power who want to control who want to tame you know this power within you the psychic um uh, healing energy within you you know um there's also a lot of hormonal uh war where you know they want to control your hormones so you can't produce healthy babies you can't produce uh gods you know they're trying to attack your womb so you can't produce gods hormonally this could be through the pills that they have created or through birth control and all of that you know all of those things this also reminds me that there was a time divine feminines in the past where a feminine could control her own period cycles she could menstruate at will you know um this was the power of the divine feminines but we lost it you know due to the great cosmic war that happened women lost their own sense of powers in terms of being able to harness that psychic energy but now with the massive shift of the planets and with the age of aquarius we are diving deep into our godhood into into our individual sovereignty into our ascension and evolution right so i'll keep the queen of cups right beside um the five of wands let's see what else spirit wants to tell us about this reading here king of swords yeah look at that so we have the king of swords king of swords is a person who's extremely scientific or somebody who believes in facts more than emotions you know they are completely detached from emotions they uh, don't operate with emotions at all they feel that emotions are a form of weakness in some way but they are also fair and just but they are quite scientific in terms of how they approach everything in life you know but again with the king of swords this is all about technology and this is all about ai and how um, there has to be a rise in ai and these these men who are creating these technologies to replace the womb um they are like trying to create a sort of black magic or sorcery on humanity so that humanity doesn't need uh you know um women it's it's like an illusion that they are casting upon people that you know we don't need women anymore because we can create our own children and we can customize children according to um how we want them to look what their hair color should be how their eyes should look you know there's that customization that they are adding to this so um, it lures people in to this trap where you know we cannot produce anything natural or organic anymore you know that spiritual power is completely taken away um and this is a completely deviant timeline that we will enter if we accept this into our being is what i'm picking up right so very very important for you divine feminines right now to discern this but apart from this i'm also getting that some of you are dealing with a very cold hearted person somebody who is very cold towards you doesn't really reach out or um doesn't really take the necessary steps to um 
be with you or to respect where you are coming from or what your opinion is about this relationship there's constantly fights arguments and bickering within this connection divine feminines there could be a lot of competition or outside people who are trying to uh, destroy what it is that you find a sanctuary in you know so it's completely up to you divine feminines as to who you choose to be the best person who you can procreate with but you have to be extremely discerning at this time because there's a lot of energies that are pulling towards you pulling you towards them as well right and this creates a lot of um, issues but know that divine is always on your side and that you are gifted with the power of the stars you're gifted with the power of the constellations you know i'm hearing you have the power to birth constellations constellational gods what damn that's deep guys okay let's see what else tell us more spirit we have two of wands yeah what a beautiful card here so this is like you walking through time you know um somewhere it's like you have two separate paths one path is that you don't do anything about this and you focus on how you have been in the past and what decisions you have made in the past and you be stuck in that decision or you make a completely new decision where you're like okay you know this is happening so that i can improve myself i can improve on um uh, how much energy i give to people whereas how i choose quality over quantity and know that the people in my life need to have a certain level of uh, respect you know a mutual respect between both of us right and that is how you choose relationships ba- based on loyalty respect commitment and whether the actions are matching the words right these things matter a lot so that you don't have to um, go without respect go without a certain level of integrity and dignity that you deserve for the kind of power that you hold within this realm you have to wake up to your own goddess power right divine is giving you that option right now to choose whether to be in the state where you are constantly in conflict with yourself as well as with your person because your internal conflict itself is manifesting outside so the more you heal the internal conflict within yourself the more you will see everything resolve outside you know so it's time for you to be the change rather than demanding change from the outside world it's time for you to go within meditate contemplate on the changes that you can bring within by not going into extremes in your life but to focus on the gray the middle path right so yeah there are two options for you here and we have the page of wands wow so much fire energy here but this is this page of wands is like a royal child a ch- child of the constellation this this is the god that you are meant to birth here you know this this is a spirit that is going to change and transform how we see the reality how we see the leaders or leadership or what it is that we are meant to build because this child is going to be excited in this chaos because it knows it has that genetic code to be able to build that new world it is that constellation god energy that this child is about to bring with the page of wands you know it's going to be extremely outgoing excited it's going to be thriving in chaos creative extremely creative within chaos you know free spirit original and very inventive you know so this is the kind of being that you're meant to birth right but here with the king of swords and you being stuck with a cold person who doesn't care about anything but to argue with you and to have a conflict with you if you're focused on that person you will never be able to go on this adventure where you are meant to meet the god that produces the divine being that you are meant to bring in this world okay so this is something that is coming up for the divine feminines here and with the strength card beautiful so this talks about you having to be brave in this period you having to have a lot of patience in order to understand that whatever you had to go through was only to make you stronger not to make you uh, suffer or to uh, you know it was testing your strength 
to know how strong you are to birth this divine being because you can't be naive anymore you can't be gullible anymore you can't be so sensitive to the point that you lose yourself in somebody else because you have learned that from your past divine feminines right where you have given your all and you only received breadcrumbs you didn't receive what you deserved right so with this power and strength that is rising up within you is for you to birth this being into this world and with this dragon energy here i'm seeing a dragon here so this is some kind of a galactic being like i said like a dragon that you're meant to birth here <laughs> literally okay and it's crazy but there's so many things stacked up against you there's the government there's the secret society there's masculine energies who want to take control because those masculines are also controlled by something higher than themselves and it's that that demonic energy within them that wants to control and um traumatize your womb you know in some way or the other by making you feel low not making you feel good about yourself making you feel as if you know um you're not enough and you're not good enough you should do this or that and you know oh you have so many emotions you need to be cold you, you how can you have how can you react so much to everything you know you're so weak that's how people say that you are divine feminines but you're not you're not weak you're the strongest you know you are the reason that humanity has been able to evolve until this point do you even realize the power of that so it's time to awaken to this right and to it's time to awaken to to your own power and with the knight of wands look at that so page of wands and knight of wands so there's so much fire energy here this is the fire element rising up within you this is that adventurous spirit that bravado that that energy um which wants to take birth within you and this will happen once you start traveling once you take that risk once you move forward from that past energy that is lingering in your life that is keeping you stuck stagnant depressed lonely picking up everyone's psychic energy and feeling drained you know feeling like your battery is completely drained it's time for you to recharge yourself you know it's time for you to take the risk and um, understand what gets your adrenaline pumping start exercising start dancing you know belly dancing or whatever it is that brings your womb back into balance right there's a post on my instagram where i have posted a uh, uh, regarding womb health and what it is that you need to eat to heal your womb you need to check out that post okay go on my instagram it's uh, the details are in my description box below but you have to dare to start working on yourself to have that wanderlust within you you know to rebel against the society in order to bring this new energy into the world right so let's see what else we have king of wands yes so this is the person that you're meant to birth this child with and look at this card oh my god this card is not even a human being it's a half horse and a half man that is who you're supposed to procreate with and this is also another free spirit that we are talking about it's a man with a, a half horse body as well as a guitar in his hand which tells me that this is uh, this is a god that you're meant to procreate with this is a god this is a divine being who is meant to procreate with you right and this person is somebody who's a leader in their right who is a visionary in terms of how it is that they want to lead people with a lot of benevolence with a lot of love as well as a lot of fire and enthusiasm and positivity and optimism filled within them you know to change the world in the best way possible right and this person is also quite inspiring they are very energetic uh very morally grounded and fair in terms of how they deal with people but also a mentor to other people you know people follow their footsteps people love their leadership people blindly trust them because this person is of divine nature and this is somebody you're meant to procreate with right this is somebody who's very bold and dynamic as well and you are an earth angel you're you're meant to um procreate with this person to create heaven on earth to create that utopia um but for that you have to also um be in that gray area you cannot be into extremes where maybe you're just partying and socializing and completely extroverted to the point that you have exhausted yourself your battery is drained 
or where you're completely into introverted hermit not wanting to meet not wanting to hang out with anybody and just focused on your inner life to the point where you have completely isolated yourself and now you have nobody to turn to right this is this is a stage where i can relate to as well because i've done this to myself where you have, you know i've taken so much time to erase everything around me that i've forgotten that you know there is a social life out there but this is something for all of us divine feminines here right so it's time for you to balance your energy to harmonize with your environment harmonize with yourself have the confidence within your body to know that you know you have your own energy and others have theirs and how to come back into your center and breathe when you're talking breathe in and out and be aware of your body when you are around people and not get sucked into their reality because there's a lot of shape shifting happening in the world right now with the ascension the awakening of the light beings are also triggering an awakening of demonic energies that want to control and tame and traumatize and destroy right so it's time for you to come into calmness into serenity and peace you know develop more and more peace within your body within your mind emotional peace mental peace physical peace you know try to have some meditation to some yoga in your life to contribute to that extreme extroverted energy or to that extreme introverted energy try to balance those things out if you have been too much at home too much reclusive try to go out socialize with people that's where you will meet this person who's who's literally god like who's divine okay this could be somebody who's already talking to you online or somebody who's already looking forward they they've seen you they've checked you out but maybe you guys are not talking anymore and maybe you're waiting for this person to message you or this person to reach out to you in some way okay through call text message or meeting you in some way uh, this person could be an avid traveler so you could be waiting for them to visit you right so let's see we have the world card yeah that is travel energy you will meet them while you travel and we have six of coins beautiful right so with the world and six of coins this is a connection that is going to give you that crown from the divine this is something that you're meant to birth into this world divine feminine you are being crowned for having this tempered balanced calm energy amid the chaos you know and that is how you will be able to birth this being this constellational god that we're talking about right this is this is like a centaur here with the king of wands this is literally a centaur here sagittarius energy right but this is something that you're meant to have a royal kingdom of on planet earth this is a, like a royal child that you're meant to birth you know and it's not even not just like royal within planet earth this is royalty of the cosmos you know you're a part of the royalty of the cosmos itself you know so and this is a connection that's going to be extremely charitable where you will exchange um equal give and take within each other there's going to be a lot of benevolence and uh, a lot of handouts to each other and balancing each other when there's an imbalance in the connection uh where you think about the welfare of each other and sharing and connecting with each other on a very deep soulful level being generous and assisting each other in this level of growth and development this is the kind of relationship that you're attracting but for that you have to leave your comfort zone behind where you were emotionally so connected to somebody who was so cold hearted and bitter towards you um and emotionally detached towards you that now you think that is your comfort zone and that you're meant to be there but no the cage has opened so why are you doubting that the cage is you know what your home is that is not your home the cage is open and you're ready to fly so why don't you fly why don't you travel why don't you you know balance your energy in that way that is something that's heavily coming up because this is a massive energy surge that is happening on the planet and for divine feminines you guys are meant to lead right now in terms of understanding who it is that wants to come through your womb you know you belong to not only the planet but the cosmos and in service of the cosmos this is your duty it's your mission you know to serve the divine mother to serve sophia is what i'm hearing serving sophia because sophia wants to connect with all of us that aspect of sophia which is purely divine and you know purely just it wants 
the women of planet earth to have that level of strength right so this is beautiful my loves this is what i have for you guys um the signs that i'm seeing here is leo cancer scorpio pisces uh gemini libra aquarius uh leo again sorry uh aries sagittarius okay um sagittarius is very strong on this spread as well as leo and we have taurus aquarius leo scorpio again and we have taurus again okay so these are the signs that i'm seeing on the spread uh let me know in the comments down below if you could resonate with this message um and do like the video so that the video can circulate to other divine feminines who require this message at this time because we are at a massive awakening of planet earth and we need to help each other out by doing this by sharing by being generous by being kind giving you know nurturing to our community as much as we have nurtured ourselves or the opposite where maybe you have constantly been bombarded by so much chaos and um issues that have caused you to completely exclude yourself from people and situations and you know to balance it out in every way so that you can be harmonious in every aspect of your life be it in your career in terms of your um relationships right all right my love so this is what i have for you i hope you enjoyed this this is a late night channeling that i did for you guys uh, the power of mitochondria that was the download that i got and look at the spread like that just explains what this is all about all right my loves so thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this and peace